G'day guys. Well today I thought I'd show you how to grow a vine in a bottle. You know these bottles where you stick vines in and they look all nice and you can have them indoors or outdoors or use them as a feature. Well they're really easy to make. Let me show you how it's done. So first of all all we need to do is find a bit of a vine in the garden here. There's one. There's some more. Here's one that's growing up the tree. And here's a bit of a different one growing along the ground. Here's another one growing up the tree and I've spotted the piece that I want. This one is actually climbing right up the tree, which is great, it looks fantastic. But look at this piece, this piece has just fallen off, it's hanging off the tree. This will be perfect for what I want. Right, well I'll need about six inches worth from where the leaves start growing, so that's where they're starting to grow from. So I'll cut it about six inches back, about here. Awesome. So where I've cut it off was just above here where there's a new little shoot growing out. So in a few months time, this will grow and you won't even miss the piece that I just cut off. Now you'll also need an empty bottle of wine. So I'm sure every one of you have got one of these lying around. Well, at least someone might have. Go and dig in your neighbor's bin if you don't have it. I like to use green ones, I think they look good. Uh, you can use the black ones or the light ones, it doesn't really matter. You can even use a beer bottle if you really wanted to. But I think the wine bottles are good size and a good weight and it looks good too. Now you'll notice the piece of vine that I cut off doesn't have any root system growing out of it. That doesn't matter because it'll start growing roots all on its own inside the bottle. It does have these little bits which it uses to cling onto the tree. They could form into roots, who knows? Now I'm going to help it along by adding a little something to the water to help boost the uh, root system and try and get it growing. I like to use the seaweed extract. Now this is a pretty old bottle, as you can see the label's coming off. So we only need a few little drops of this, just a tiny bit we need. Just, oh, that's it. That's all we need. And that will add some nutrients to the water and hopefully get the root system growing even better. Now you don't have to add the liquid fertilizer, but if you've got some, add some, because I reckon it does help it along quite a bit. So now I'll just fill this bottle up with some water. So now all we need to do is put our piece of vine inside the bottle, push it down, I like to push it down and until these leaves are just poking out the top of the bottle. And there you have it, a nice little vine in a bottle. Now these look great on your windowsill. Uh, you can stick it outside as well. I'd avoid the full sun on it because uh, the full sun, if it's hot, uh, it might start uh, making the water too hot for the root system to handle. So they're good for indoors in um, full or part shade. That's probably the best place for them. I've got this one here, which I did about two months ago, and I've had it on the windowsill and it's doing really well. When I planted this vine, it was only this long from there to there and since then it has grown all this, all this along here. So it's grown probably another meter from when I first started planting it. Now if you had some sort of a trellis or something to grow this up, like sticking a stick inside the bottle, you could do that. Uh, I didn't really want to have it climbing up the blinds here so I decided what I would do is just twist it over itself into little circles like this just hook it in together and so it's just been growing in a bit of a round circle and I'll just keep doing that I'm getting close here you can see the roots that are starting to grow in this plant and they're getting quite long. Now of course you do need to top up the water every now and then as the plants do use the water and what I like to do is about once a month I just drain about half the water out and then replace it with fresh water maybe another drop or two of the liquid fertilizer. But they do look fantastic indoors or outdoors. They're great in a room or in a bathroom on a windowsill. They're just perfect little plants for many rooms in your house. 
In fact, for my plant here, I'm going to put this on the windowsill in my bathroom, right next to the shower. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.